All right, we're going to do a little servo test uh, today on the Viterra. I currently have a plastic servo horn and a 15 kilogram Arma steering servo in it. And I've uh, purchased a Savox servo. It's the uh, 1230SG. And you can tell that it's a little black around here where I've put some electric or liquid electrical tape to farther uh, waterproof it. And I also put some marine grease underneath here to um, help keep water out. So this is a, uh, a much more powerful servo and we'll see what the difference is. I get the truck turned on. As you see, I've got some got a light set on it now, and uh, we'll do a uh, just setting still on this countertop. I'll just go back and forth slowly, and then I'll go back and forth uh, really quick to kind of see how the action of the servo goes. Okay, at first I'll just go to the left, and that's with one quick motion of the wheel on the transmitter. Back to center, a quick motion to the right, back to center. Now I'll go back and forth as quickly as I can. You see the servo struggles just a little bit to turn it on this slick surface. And uh, once again, that's the 15 kilogram uh, servo that I uh, rebuilt from one of my Arma vehicles. So we'll put the Savox 1230SG in it now, and we'll see what the difference is. All right, this is after installing the Savox 1230SG high torque servo. Now I'll go uh, left, then center, then right, center, first of all. Left, center, right, center. Now I'll go back and forth uh, several times real fast like. Seems like it's a lot stouter servo. 